What's up guys? Knuckleball Twins today with Ben Rowe and Just Knuckle It and this is the future of the knuckleball. Enjoy. Check out the chapters below if you want to skip ahead to certain parts of the video. This part now will feature my knuckleball free kicks from the session. I say knuckleball very loosely because I'm certainly not executing the technique as much as I'd like to, considering my leg is not 100%, we're doing all right though. Enjoy those now. to go and see Garrett and Ben. Extremely excited, second time doing this. Not on the double decker today, on this brown old school train. We'll keep you updated on how the day goes. It's like a roof, okay, yeah, yeah, but it's yeah. rocks. I didn't realize it was gonna be this. <laughs> Fuck, here we go. So it's not even that like safe. So it lands it's on rocks? rocks? Yeah, it, it's like this, but <laughs> oh it's like on a roof. God. Yes guys, so here we are, we've made it to the pitch, exactly the same field as last year, almost a year ago pretty much isn't it, when yeah. we did this yeah. last, yeah, it was unbelievable, the best underrated knuckleball free kick takers, you guys absolutely love that one, today we're going to hit some free kicks and focus on the future of a knuckleball, so I want to get Garrett and Ben's insight on their perspective within a knuckleball technique and hopefully we get some banners for you guys to enjoy as well, so we've got Just Knuckle It and Ben Rowe. Let's get into it. All right. I've never it, seen that before. This is the worst conditioned Jabalani I've, I've ever had for sure. Because you know, you discuss match ball issues on your channel and, and this yeah. is one of them. It does this weird thing where the, the skin, we call it, separates from the actual bladder, bladder of, of the ball. And it, it just has these weird bubbles and the design it starts flaking and it, it's just a mess overall and you guys know i've owned a lot of jabulani's in the past not once has a ball ended up like this which makes me extremely grateful yeah i, I was going to say was. was it a temperature issue so we think it's heat it's possible we think heat yeah. is what causes it okay is like, it holding there still right no, no. It, Wait, the so, other so day, it's the other day it just oh, completely went it just flat. started I, leaking man yeah, yeah. It, now this one's done. Well, the worst part about this issue is that there's no solution. Nah. Like once it happens, it's it's done. Yeah. All right. So this is a little gift from me and Ben. Um, thought it was a good time to give it to you. You know, on the topic of soccer balls. You know, we had a depressing moment with the Jabulani. Yeah. We thought we'd up uplift the mood a little bit with this. So thank you so much. Whoever's in here, I'll be extremely grateful. Like that's awesome. Right, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, that's sick. That's sick. It's the power orange version. That's sick. Of the Umbro ball. Yeah, yeah. Oh, mate, that's awesome. More recently, the store I used to get these from don't sell them anymore. 
really? which makes us even more valuable. Really? Yeah, because wow. I don't know why they discontinued it, but there's only one place where you could get them from in the UK. They've stopped selling them now. That's legendary. Thank you very much. That's awesome. Yeah. Love the power orange vibes as well. That's yeah, sick. I've never seen that colorway before. That's yeah, so yeah, sick. Yeah. Yeah. This is technically, um, so the one you got us was the Pulsar. Yes. This is like, the newer version, I guess. No, it's, it, it's the like, panels it feels are very exactly similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really similar. Eve has the triangle format there as well. Yeah, the texture is the same, I think. But it's it's called a different. It's called the Neo Swerve. And I must say quickly on the subject of the Umbro Pulse of footballs, Gal and Ben have both been hitting banners with it since I gave it to you. Yeah. Like oh, Ben especially. The, the next day, the clip of Ben's shot, yeah, man. right now the next day <laughs> you would have seen it last year, but that blue one, the movement, and then. It was on the turf field, right? When you yeah. guys were that. Un unbelievable. I saw that, I was like, gold, absolute gold. And you, that one you hit, come on, more recently. Yeah, yeah. The, maybe the like a month the, ago. Yeah. The looping you, shot. You yeah, shared yeah, yeah. it. Uh, just crazy, absolutely <laughs> mental. And now Gout's going to show me another match ball that he's got recently that I honestly have no idea what it could be. Wow. Wow. Pre-owned? This was new. New? New and in box, yes. So this is the match ball they use in one match of the 2006 World Cup final. And yeah, how does it feel to strike from your experience so far? It is amazing. But I got it a little while ago and then eventually I worked up the courage to use it. Um, I hear that, yeah. We will have a video coming out soon, official Team Geist, Team Geist. I don't know how to, how do you pronounce it by the way? Cause I get, I get rinsed for it. It's Team guys. Team guys. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's really hard to express to the viewers how valuable and precious this is to see. This came from Japan, right? Japan. It came from yeah. Japan. There you go. I mean, that says it all for me. Yeah. Quick question on the ball and the free kicks you've hit with it so far. Have you hit an insane knuckleball with this ball? Would you say? Yes. Is it up there with one of your best knuckleballs? Yes. Right, I, look out for that. I didn't answer that. Look out for that. I was there. These two right here, I didn't bring. I didn't bring. No, yeah, yeah, no, that, no. yeah those the two in here. The Alhium, yeah. You've hit some sweet ones with that. That knuckleball you you did where it like going towards the goal and it swerves out of the post. Oh yeah, yeah. Unbelievable goal that yeah, one. Love that. You, you. And again, a, a knuckleball that should be appreciated based on the pound design, right? Yeah, this one is. Um, I like it for knuckles, but it definitely doesn't move like a Jabulani or something. Like right, it's, it's yeah, definitely yeah. different. It's got a harder feel. Um, it looks similar to the Fusbol eBay. Is that right? Is it the same pound design as that? So this is the this is the one they made after the Al Rila. So it's got the same panel design, right, but okay. the Fusbol eBay has the like the different texturing here. The Uniforia. I don't right, remember. Okay. I don't remember what the base version of this one was called. The. Uh, it looks fairly similar, it's just not silver. Yeah, I don't actually know. I've never seen this ball before. Really? Honestly, I've never seen this before. And it's a Euro ball and you're, you're yeah. using it in the States. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Limit myself to three attempts. All right. If we fail at three, we call it. Let's see it. No one sees the clip. Okay. Advanced toe bounce. Okay, okay. Oh, First good. try. Nice. Oh, sick. Oh, mate, that was so smooth. Oh, mate, unreal. Yeah, that was sick. Drop a like for that, guys. That was awesome. <laughs> it's the goal in FIFA I scored a few days ago. It's a crazy knuckleball. Mate, that's sick. Bart that's down. class, yeah, that's class. <laughs> so there we go, that's the future of a knuckleball. So, video done. Any comments? Uh, it's looking promising, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have these oh, two okay. absolute beauts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> On Tuesday, so what's that, three days ago, when I was able to do knuckleballs, I hit some mad ones with this. So you do warm-up shots before actually striking the ball in your main frame? Yeah. I just Interesting. Just a little bit off center. Yeah, yeah. Closer to the goal, just to get my legs going. I rate that. Are you the same? Do you do that? Yeah. I usually 
after I warm up, I just dribble around. And like sometimes I'll go really close and just shoot the ball, or sometimes I'll do what Ben's doing as well. I don't know how well a GoPro shows knuckleball free kicks, but I'd be curious to uh, see what see it's it. like. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sometimes I'll have sessions where I'll shoot okay in the middle, but yeah. usually, usually it's the beginning is like the best because I think that's what I'm thinking about at the least. And then I start Love to have that. a couple bad shots, and then I start thinking about how to fix it, and then. I think that's what it is. But. That is a great point, guys. If you've watched that bit, that is a spot on tip from Garrett there. The least you think about it, the more chill you are. Technically, you get the banners in those situations. Yeah. yeah. Mate, that move, man. Oh, nice. Wow. That was sweet, that. Oh! Fawns down there. Let's see what the grass is looking like. Shout out to Soccer Post Brooklyn for the shirt. If you're in the US and you're near a store, a Soccer Post store, check it out. They even had the Mizuno Alpha boots in there, which was really impressive. So, a real cool store. Check it out. Oh. Just talking about the unlucky free kick from Ben you've just seen. And what I was about to say is I feel like the knuckleball is still very young in the sense that people still enjoy seeing the movement even if it doesn't go in the goal. Like a lot of you actually comment. So let us know down below from the video which free kick stood out for you.
what does the future of the knuckleball look like for you? To be honest, I, I think the knuckleball community is, is dying down as time goes on. There's not as much energy as there used to be. However, I think if there are still a few standing figures in the industry there to inspire the, the next generation, like Sammy, and hopefully us to uh, just inspire some people, that would be great. I love that answer. And it is true, and it's not spoken about enough the community. And Ben's actually doing a great job of running and managing the Free Kicks Instagram page. And that's credit to yourself because that is still maintaining the aspect of enjoying the knuckleball. And I feel like for the short attention spanners out there, if they're looking for quick clicks, they're still able to do that and see free kicks on that page. Plus, it also gives good exposure to small channels that are trying to grow their content. And Garrett, what are your thoughts on the future of the knuckleball? I mean, everything Ben said is like completely true. I basically agree with everything. Um, especially the fact that like, I don't think that the community as he hit on needs to be like massive. Like it can stay kind of low key and small. That's kind of how it is now in terms of the people that are really like invested in match balls and knuckleball free kicks and stuff. It's nice to see the interaction uh, between like, you know, people, I'll just give some shout outs like free kick lad, like yourself, Ben, obviously just name like a few, but um, that's cool to see. And I think that with time, people are going to be continually interested in the knuckleball. I mean, you see people are still posting about the Jabulani to this day. I mean, so people are clearly still interested in the actual practice of the technique. There is so much more to it than just the knuckleball itself. And I feel like from my perspective, that's why the knuckleball will always have a future because there will be people to look up to, like Ben saying, including these two, because you are inspirations to the future. Do you think that there's less incentive to do a knuckleball now because Jabulani's are so hard to get and because people don't perhaps see the knuckleball movement straight away? I think back when the, the Jabalani hype was was popular, there was much more incentive to actually go out. Just the, the match balls, you know, from a knuckleball perspective are, are quite bland nowadays. And, and I guess it has um, brought down the interest. 100%. And if people aren't seeing the results, they're going to give up, perhaps. Yeah, yeah but I would argue that the, I mean, what people mostly use are not the match balls like these. They mostly use the replicas, the gliders, right. which in my true. opinion, knuckle, you could argue like Love as that. much as a jabulani. That is very true, probably. actually. Adidas so, guided footballs are good for knuckleball free kicks. I'll give you that. I think that one of the reasons why people maybe aren't as inspired to do it, if you can say that, is because the pros use the match balls and there's not as many knuckleballs that are hit. So people just aren't seeing an example to lead by. Oh, and mate, honestly, that's, could, that is on point, that. You could yeah. just go on YouTube and watch, like, Ronaldo's free kick for Sportsmith. But think about how many people that inspired. Like, I know that free kick was so influential. Um, Back in a time where social media wasn't as big either. Right. So you really had to search for that goal. Look at Juninho with the team guys. Or Euro had, pass. Yeah, the Euro pass. Like, it was crazy. Like, you saw that and you, it was inspiring to yeah. do something similar. It was different. Yeah, it was definitely I think different. players are just more scared to try nowadays. Honestly, there's there's more risk. I, I suppose they don't want to they don't want to be as as risky, as, you know, to, to try it. And then nah. there's, therefore, there's no one to uh, to follow up on it, no one to inspire. Spot on. And even Ronaldo's adapted his technique where he's gone from more of a topspin curve approach, yeah. mainly because he's older, I'd guess. But there is no one really iconic that's doing the knuckleball at all, is there? Not that I can think of anyway. Top professionals at the game already, early doors. Just Knuckle and Ben Rowe. It's been an absolute pleasure. Subscribe to their channel, check out Free Kicks on Instagram, and check out Just Knuckle across the socials as well. Absolute ballers. Knuckle it. Yes, there we go. Knuckle Love it. that. A good session in my eyes. Great to see these guys with their techniques, different techniques.
The heat is so intense. Apparently it feels like 107 Fahrenheit. Ridiculous really, not filming conditions. Thank you so much for watching the video guys. Please drop it a like. We're grafting out here. Garrett and Ben deserve a lot of recognition. Check them out in the description below. They are the future of a knuckleball. We're going to continue with some behind the scenes extras. So if you are still here, enjoy that. We'll see you next time. Knuckle it. I'm saying team guys correctly now. So there we go. That's for you SOM. Is this a rarity? I've never seen this before. Exactly the same match ball. However, this has the Germany print on it and this one has the FIFA approved. Has that got the FIFA approved? Um, yeah, this one does, but it's on the other side. So then this one, team it's guys. just the Adidas logo. That's crazy. Spot the difference there. Yeah, wow. It's interesting. It's cool. I've just been informed that these are vicious. Getting a thumbnail face. Oh yeah. Something in shock. I feel like I've got the Walmart football kit on. If you reverse the air, it could be a W. Plans, right? One of the highlights of the trip going to Walmart. Uh, sport for choice. <laughs> Absolutely buzzing. A bit of rivalry. Representing the UK of the Sainsbury's back. Good lads, loving it. Tucking in, fully deserve this. This is the first thing I've ate all day. <laughs> That's crazy. Right guys, all done today. Thanks so much for watching if you stayed this far. Fully engaged, yes, we love it. Drop the video. <laughs>